Dirt. Thank you. Hey, thanks everybody. Hey, well, come on, clap a little bit. Let's get this thing going. You guys are sitting there. I want to talk to you just briefly. I, as most of Jeff mentioned, I used to be a Kodak and uh, laughed, wrote a book, and do some other things. And I want to bring out my friend Gabby. Gabby, come in. Gabby, come out. We're going to talk to you about. Uh, give it up for Gabby. Come on. This is a, you know, he's from Amsterdam, so he's come down off a of high, so to speak. And uh, we want to. He's an artist. You got that. All right. We want to talk a little bit about how he sent me a tweet when I was a corporate executive at Kodak. He sent me one tweet that has started to change his career uh, in terms of where he's at as an artist. And we want to talk a little bit. So I was at the 140 conference in London. We were sponsoring it. I get this tweet from this guy, crazy guy. He says, hey, I want to meet with you. I said, well, look, I, I just don't have the time. He says, well, look, I'll fly down to London. I'll meet, I, I want to meet with you. Yeah. So I said, well, I can do it backstage. We'll do it. And he showed up. So let's yeah. talk about that. And actually, the tweet said that Kodak always talks about their Kodak moments. And I was going to do a project where I thought I was going to have the ultimate Kodak moment. So I said to Jeff, Jeff, listen, I got the ultimate Kodak moment. Can I come down and pitch it? And then I, you know, I got the tweet back from you. And then it was taken over by the publicist of uh, Kodak. And she thought I was a journalist that was gonna about to be interviewing him. And I was like, I'm not going to ruin this by saying that I want money from Kodak. So I just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all these he questions lied. for him, he and lied. he's so cool. So I booked He was from <laughs> Horse and Hound magazine, if you've ever saw the movie Notting Hill. So, so I booked a plane ticket then that afternoon and flew over the next day to London, where the 140 conference was, and we started talking. And you started talking about the Tour de France and yeah. about the things that you could do and, and the kind of artwork that you did. And you, so you pitched me on this. You wanted to do this tribute to Lance Armstrong and yeah. to the guys in the Tour de this France. This is actually the Nike website that posted this, so it was very important. I am a painter, and I like to paint on the road, also real paintings. And I had the vision that I wanted to go to the Tour de France for maybe the non-cycling fans. It's the thing that Lance Armstrong wins all the time. And like he said, I thought that Lance Armstrong always wears the yellow shirt, but that was only because was he it? won it the whole time. And I wanted to paint <laughs> 11 paintings on the road. And I know it in meters. The paintings were 10 meters by 10 meters. And I wanted to go with the Tour de France for three weeks and paint them on the roads. But I needed money because I'm a starving artist, or you're supposed to say that. But I was, you know, I'm not a... I'm not Damien Hurst well, yet. Well, but back, back then, let's be honest, your, 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 your stuff was going for a couple hundred bucks. I have to say my girlfriend paid the plane ticket. Yeah. Okay, wow. there we go. <laughs> so, I mean, so, but this is some of the stuff and the process that you started doing all up in the mountains, yeah. all over the place in terms of where we're at. And we thought it was really cool. We said, what we'll do is we'll paint these pictures, we'll put them, now, and we'll put them everywhere, and we'll send it, we'll document it, we'll tweet it, we'll uh, do some social media. But then that led me to also think, hey, I found out you also did a lot of work on recycled material. Cardboard, like cardboard yeah, yeah. right? So a lot of his paintings were done on cardboard, and here we are, Kodak, printing company, and all this, and we had a major print show coming up, and we have massive amounts of cardboard and trash left over. I said, well, could you come to our booth and take the leftover trash and do paintings on them, and then we'll use you in the booth, and we give those paintings away. And do you remember what I told you? I said, I only do it if you sponsor my Tour de France thing. Yeah, it was upselling, all right? I don't want a job. I'm not, I'm not looking for a job, you know. I'm not a graphic artist. I, am, I want to become world champion art. And if that means that I have to lose two ears or if I have to do the smallest painting, biggest painting. But my passion was this. I wanted to do this. And if he said no to this, I mean, I can go have jobs everywhere, you know. I can work in a supermarket, but that's not my goal. This was it. This so. was it. And so, I mean, and I, I mean, who could say no to a guy who takes an Adidas sweatsuit and makes a suit out of it? I mean, I... I <laughs> It was like, it was, and, and everybody in my company was saying, no, 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 this guy's crazy, we're not doing it, we're not doing it. And I said, no, this little dwarf. Well, actually, guy the European from, said, no, yeah. no, no, it's that crazy American cowboy that came up with an idea. Because I had to deal with the so, European Kodak yeah, office. Which I'm sorry. I didn't like them anyway. So it's all right. So, <laughs> so we did it. And so we did it. And so let me show you some of Gabby's work. Now, what, the, what this has led to, I think this is so cool a tweet, one tweet, one DM that got through, I read it, saw it, boom. Now, I always say, not one tweet led to this, one response to one tweet. Because uh, to me, true. I can send out to all of you saying, hey, hire me, do something. But if you don't respond to me because you think I'm an arrogant, you know, little dwarf or something, <laughs> then nothing will happen. But because you, you, you saw this little thing, and I saw him before speak at a thing with his cowboy boots, and I thought, if there is one guy out there that goes for this crazy idea, it would be you. So that's why right. and the response made it happen. Well, so now let's, let's, let's also speed up because we only got a couple minutes we want to show. 
you now have a manager who used to be the vice president of marketing for all Kodak. of Europe at Kodak. <laughs> He's now the, the managing director of a major corporation. And now, as his pet project, as his project, he's managing his career. And as a result, this week, you're meeting with an, uh, a gallery here in Soho, in Soho yeah. that I happened to go by and, and, and said, hey, you should talk to this guy. And now we're talking about doing an art show for Gabby and here also in Soho. Dubai, and famous, Dubai and, Ibiza, the Van Gogh Foundation in Holland liked my work. This is and some of the work. Let's show a little bit of the work, because I think this is just so freaking awesome. Look at, what's this one called? Because you like tulip, right? I, I thought Van Gogh has the sunflower, you know, throw away that thing. I'm the tulip man. So in all my work, and I'll be painting out there tomorrow. I'm going to doing two pace, uh, pieces, and I also have tulip man stickers that you can stick everywhere. So this is called, uh, uh, this is, uh, Actually, a sort of self-portrait, but I. You're just, going to be doing something like this yeah. here. So you're actually only with gonna, the Twitter bird. I, I use the Twitter bird. So Gabby's going to paint two paintings while he's here, and we're going to take those paintings. And we're going to give those away to charity, and you're going to be able to help us raise money for breast cancer awareness. How's that sound? I think that'd be kind of a cool thing. And now, now your paintings, now your paintings. These kind of paintings are going for many, many thousands of dollars. The as first result, painting went out for an applause. I'm like, oh yeah, you like it? Oh yeah, it's cool, man. I said, there you go. And now I'm selling them for 4,000 euros. So and, you're, it's, and you're actually going to be handing out some limited editions yeah. of this, right? Which you have on Only your business card. Only a bit, sm bit smaller. And so this you is my one. favorite one. I, I love Native American art. And Gabby said, can you paint something? And he did. And he painted it for me. And it's the first thing I hung in my New York apartment. When I, no, I tweeted York. to you, what so. is your favorite Indian tribe? And then he said, this one. And then I did a painting for him. And I sent it, of course, a little bit so I know he would you know, invite me. Yeah, yeah, not bad. <laughs> OK, and this is how you reach Gabby. So you're going to see him over the next, next day. So make sure you, he's a struggling artist who's starting to make some money, but help him out. That's what this is all and about, come right? come by tomorrow. I'll be outside in front of here, so I don't want to be all alone all day. There's sometimes when you go for a coffee, come say hi to me. That okay. would be nice. Give it up for Gabby, if you would. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All right. I want to, hey, no, no, guys, give me my slides back. Give me my slides back. I'm giving away a million bucks, okay? Pay attention. I got your attention. A Texas oil man found out that I was coming to this event the other day, and he has put a million dollars up into a new fund. He is a Texas oil man. This is, I think I have a picture of him. There he is, Lester Smith. He's founded an organization called the Pink Well, and he takes money from his oil wells. He's a cancer survivor. He is a world-renowned ballroom dancer, national champion. He's got a lot of passions, very focused guy, and a great guy. And he's the, he went out and painted one of his wells pink, and the money that, uh, from the well is going to, um, to help benefit women living with breast cancer, and, which is pretty cool. But here's where I need your help. He said that he is going to give a million dollars to fight breast cancer to 20 different breast cancer organizations, and all we have to do is let them know so they can apply. In about three seconds, I'll be stepping off the stage. I'll send this tweet. Do what you can to help people know about this because it's about the organizations and the more that we start to share the more this community grows thanks very much jeff for the opportunity thank you all very very much all right